Hey guys, Barbara here. Tables and diagrams are easy to use in Google Slides. Let's have a look. If you watched our video on using tables in Google Docs, you will find that you already have the skills you need in order to use tables in Google Slides. This is one of the great things about Google. In this video, we will also explore how to use Google Slides diagram options. With the diagram options, you are able to easily add and customize a diagram to suit your needs. Let's see how these work. From Google Slides, head to the menu bar and select Insert. Here, you will find the option to insert a table. When you hover over the word table, little blocks will appear. These are your columns and rows. Decide how many you would like to have of each, and then simply click and your table will be inserted. You can adjust the column or row sizes by hovering over them, and from the little icon that appears, drag them to the size you would like them to be. If you have dragged them out of proportion and you would like them to be equal in size, you can do this by right-clicking in the table and choosing to distribute rows or to distribute columns. Your table's columns and rows will now be evenly spaced. In order to merge cells together, highlight the cells you would like to merge and right-click. From the menu that appears, head to the option that says Merge Cells. If you would like to insert a new row or a new column in your table, right-click again. From the menu, you have the options to insert a row above, below, to insert a column to the left or to the right. You can also choose to delete a row, a column or the entire table. You have the ability to edit individual lines in a table as well. Hover over the line you would like to adjust and click on it. Notice how the toolbar has changed at the top. You can now change the line color, the density of the line, as well as what the line looks like. If you would like to edit multiple lines at the same time, simply hold in the shift key and select all the lines that you would like to edit. If you would like to change a cell color, place your cursor in the cell you would like to change. Or alternatively, highlight the cells you would like to fill. And from the toolbar at the top, use the bucket tool to fill the cells with color. If you would like to adjust the alignment of where the text appears in the cell, you can do this from here. Having them aligned to the middle will have all the text typing from the center of the cells instead of being aligned to the top or the bottom. When you select the entire table, you can adjust all of the lines at once if you need to do so. Let's move on and have a look at Google Slides diagram options. From the Insert menu, select Diagrams. A panel will open on the right-hand side. Here, you can choose the type of diagram you are looking for. You have a number of grid diagram options, hierarchy options, timelines, processes, relationships, and cycles. When you select one of these, at the top you can make some fundamental adjustments. For example, I can change the cycle diagram from 3 steps to 5. This will automatically adjust the options below so that you can get a good look of what they look like. These diagrams come with the standard color options. You can choose one of the colors here and all your diagrams will change. When you have decided which one you would like to use, simply select it and it will be inserted onto your slide. Notice as I click around, each of these have been added as individual items. Be careful when you move them around. In order to move this diagram as a single unit, be sure to highlight all of the options and either group it as one or simply move it where you would like it to be. If this color doesn't float your boat, change the colors by selecting the various components and using the bucket tool or text editor, adjust the diagram to suit your needs. Just like that, you have a diagram that you can use to represent a process. It's as easy as that.